Leo. Hey, Leo. I want to thank you guys uh, for watching my channel. Also, welcome to my channel to, for anyone who's new. I want to thank all you guys for the uh, support you guys have been giving the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, also, this, I'm going to do you guys a general love reading. Uh, this is for a, a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And this is for the month of October. Although it can play out into other months in the future, but it's um, just messages coming through for you for October, okay? <clears throat> also, I, if you guys want to donate to the channel or, or request a personal reading, everything should be in the description box below. I'm also um, offering 50% off of my readings for right now for my private readings. You can find everything in the description box below. Any questions, email me. Let's get into this, Leo. I put you guys a shapeshifter card. It's basically about things that are shifting in your life. And you got cortisol. <laughs> I don't know how to say this word. And the priestess of times. Maybe one of you guys can help me say it. It says the time has come. The time to act is now. And it's a number 23, so it equals up to a five. I feel like there's change coming into um, coming into you guys' lives. And the reason I say that is because I, ha I got the past card when I pulled these. It says past and deliverance. One thing I noticed when I pulled out these cards and I was shuffling, the, you see how this lady in the past was a little gray and her hair, she was just like, an, it's like, like something's being sucked out of her in the past. Well, and then it says delivering. It kind of looked like the same lady. You see how the darkness under her eyes and you have her like being revived. So I just took it, especially with this being a five, like things are changing. Like with times where you maybe wasn't feeling good or something like that. You're kind of getting back into yourself and shining more than ever. And I just got deliverance from the past with these two. I also kept seeing the six of wands. So I feel like um, in certain some situation... You guys are kind of like moving forward victorious, victoriously and like people are seeing it, like people are recognizing who you are. Then if you see this lady, it's just like a lot. You guys have come back to yourself and I think it's even stronger and more stronger than you've ever been is what I got. OK, let's look into this. So I'm going to do the Celtic cross again and maybe due to some heartbreak. I just seen the three of swords. I feel like you guys are going a whole nother direction and kind of. Getting out any past energies of feeling down is what I was getting strongly from uh, this whole message. Even this lady in the past got a whole bunch of ladybugs. And ladybugs symbolize good luck. So good luck from the past is what I'm getting. There's a lot of gold, like a lot of uh, richness in this card to me. And I just feel like just feeling way better about yourself than maybe you had in the past. And I do, do feel like this is uh, this is a love reading. So it definitely has something to do with love. Maybe not a romantic partner, even though I'm feeling strongly it is. It could be family or relationship. So keep that in mind, okay? Let's get started. We're going to do the Celtic Cross. I'm working on some more spreads for you guys. I'll bring those out as soon as I kind of get them to where they're giving you a lot of information, okay? Let's get started. Give me Leo's present situation. Like, what's going on with Leo right now? I'm going to pull out some more cards once I'm done with the Celtic Cross. Yeah, the world card. So a cycle has ended successfully for you guys. This is your energy. You guys are in this card, too. I feel like you guys have ended a cycle, closed it out from the past. That's why I guess I was getting deliverance from the past. Um, and then you guys are moving forward to something another, the, a more you and I feel like you're just going for things you want Even if there's a relationship or something from the past That's where you guys are kind of keeping it and focusing more on yourself is what I'm getting And I feel like it's coming at the time where um, You did want to reconcile with somebody And you felt like uh, things weren't you guys weren't treating right in the past or something like that Let's look more into it. What's the immediate challenge for Le Leo? Excuse me if I accidentally call you guys Libra, but this is a Leo read, okay? Yeah, the immediate challenge is that new beginning. I feel like a lot of you guys are single, and you, but you want like this Ten of Cups love. And I feel like from the past, I feel like a lot of people are definitely attracted to you. I'm getting that from this spread. But I feel like this um, this challenge is offering uh, offering love again, starting something new. Maybe from from being in a time in the past where things didn't go out your way and kind of there was a lot of burdens, like a lot of things in, just feeling burdened and not moving forward. I think you guys spent a lot of time thinking and, and found got like some type of awakening or wake up call. Just start looking at things different and start focusing more on self-love. 
And I feel like this new beginning can be like, in a, if you want a new relationship, that's what this new beginning as a challenge could be for some of you. And, um, or just starting over in love is what I'm getting strongly. Let's look at the distant past. The lovers. So it was a connection you guys had, someone you guys had a strong connection with. And I feel like it didn't work out. <clears throat> Maybe this person just left, kind of left you feeling a little stuck. I feel like you love this person. Yeah, it's definitely someone from the past. I have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And someone you kind of waited to come back towards you to show you love. Show you how much they cared is what I'm getting. Let's look at the recent past. I feel like they never came or something. So you guys start focusing more on yourself, which it, which divine always would want you to. Because, you know, the lovers can stand for a strong connection, a divine connection also. Could be a soulmate, twin flame connection. But the divine definitely wants you to focus on yourself and you come to a better place for too. Yeah, I feel like there was a lot of fear in uh, ending that relationship or kind of just fear of walking away from it in the past. Like if I walk away from it, it never come back to me. Let's look at the recent past. Recent past for Leo. I feel like in the recent past, you guys start wondering what do you really want and start going towards wish fulfillment. Fit, and I feel like I'm getting feeling whole within yourself with this card, especially sitting right under the Ace of Cups. I feel like you was hoping this person that you walked away from came and made you an offer, like text you, offer something, even if it was small, that's what you wanted. And you guys were kind of conflicted because it didn't come the way you want. So you guys just went on your a whole nother path for at least for right now is what I'm getting. Let's see the best outcome for you, Leo. Best outcome for Leo. Moving away with the Six of Swords and a Page of Swords. Okay, some of you guys may have been looking into this person, spying a little bit, or this could be that person doing away from doing that to you, but I feel like it's mainly your energy. And you guys may be, but you're getting out of this, like looking or trying to figure out what's going wrong, figure out what's, what's going on with this person and just move, focusing more on yourself. I feel like this kind of had you in a place of, it kept hurting you to be in this energy. So you kind of moving away, moving away. I think you guys gained some type of clarity with the page of swords and decided to take a whole new direction, at least for now is what I'm getting. Focusing more on yourself. Immediate future for Leo. Immediate future for Leo. Please give me the immediate future for Leo. Give me Leo's immediate future. Immediate future for Leo. Okay. Five of Wands. There might be some conflict in the future. And I feel like it's just conflict. Of, uh, about what you want. Fine. I feel like this conflict. See, I feel like this conflict. Has a lot to do with this person. See under the deck. I got the emperor and the empress. And the five, I mean, the ten of pentacles. But the problem is, is the emperor is facing a whole nother direction than the emperor, empress. So maybe that's what the end facing towards competition. This person definitely was a player, maybe in the player in the past for some of you. And I felt like you felt like it was unfair that they didn't come through with a solid offer. In the future, you might face a little bit of those emotions is what I'm getting. But I feel like if, if it is, it's the divine to push you forward. Like, because you don't want to stay in this energy. and So it may come up, but I feel like anything that come up is kind of trying to deliver you with a deliverance card from the past. Okay. Let's look at factors affecting the situation. Please give me factors affecting the situation for Leo. 
factors affecting this situation? Going back and forth with your emotions, with the way you feel, if you want to walk away, if you want to stay. I feel like that's what you guys was thing. It's like it's like you you going for this new beginning and you guys are healing from the past, but at times you still go back to feeling a little conflicted about if you really want to kind of like leave is what I'm getting. Yeah. The, the fool at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, if you really want to take that leap. But I think you know that in order for you to stable, feel, be more stable in, in, in your emotions and in life, that you would have to take that leap of faith. But I think this is something that you're kind of keeping to yourself until you heal. And that heal could be anything that's toxic, because um, I did see the devil card over there. Anything that's toxic from the past. And that don't have, have to mean, it could just mean a way of thinking or something like that. Maybe the, the way you view this relationship. Because for some of you, this definitely could be a twin flame journey you're on. Please give me external influences for Leo. This person. Two of Wands. In a fork in the road. So this person doesn't really know which way they want to go right now. They're fearing re reconciliation. I feel like they want to make you an offer. But they I think they had like a tower moment or something. Th realizing maybe that who you are and your the connection is what I'm getting. But they're fearing this. They feel in reconciling for right now. And I think it's due to whatever happened in the past between you guys. I feel like he's working more that this person is working more on themselves right now because now the emperor is facing temperance. So it's a part of them that they're trying to balance out for right now. And it could be due to fear. Let's look at <clears throat> hopes and fears, hopes and fears for Leo, hopes and fears for Leo. <laughs> this is definitely a hope and a fear, the nine of Pentacles. Hoping to be like that independent person and um, just in, okay with being single, those type of things like being abundant, you know, looking beautiful, hoping, having that hope. It definitely is what I'm getting strong with here. However, fearing, fearing how long this would like how, being single for long is what I'm getting. Yeah. Moon underneath the deck, fear. Fear being single. Maybe you're the type of person that like to share your life with people. Want to share, like, um, share love with people. Nothing wrong with that. With someone. Okay, let's see. Um, final outcome for Leo. <laughs> Joy. Celebrations and definitely reconciliation. So if there is any fear that this won't come together, especially if this is a twin flame journey, it's meant to come together. Let's... Um, Maybe it's still healing going on. Yeah, because it's the nine of wands and the seven. This person does want to invest in it. But right now, I think it's um, they need it's things that they have to walk away from. And it's going to take great strength to be able to come towards you with an offer is what I'm getting. And that offer will be to work together and invest in a relationship. perseverance it's gonna take a lot okay leo leo sorry if i called you libra because i leo libra i keep getting you guys mixed up together let's um i'm gonna pull a message of love okay please give me a message for leo you got acceptance everything happens for a reason and then we're gonna do a flower whisper flower whisper Leo. Please give me a flower whisper for Leo. A flower whisper for Leo, please. Uh oh, here we go. It's my little uh, whisper cards. Can you see it? I'm sorry, this room a little dark. It says, "At this moment, you are where you need to, where you need to be." Just breathe. 
All right, Leo, that's what I have for you today. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.